Hey, what's up, guys? Got a little game of domination on Afghan, but uh, today I'm not really going to be talking about the gameplay, so I'm just going to get that out of the way. Um, I'm using the FAMAS with a silencer. Um, sca I believe I'm, I have Scavenger Pro on it, Sapphire Pro, and Ninja Pro. That's usually um, all the uh, my main perks that I run. Um, and I got Claymores as well. And, um, but, you know, besides that, uh, the main thing that I want to talk about today is religion. Um, Wings of Redemption just posted a video, uh, basically, you know, just point, saying his views on, on religion and stuff, and, uh, well, that's not the main point, but, you know, people in the comments were talking, and, um, you know, it's amazing what people say, and, uh, people call themselves a Christian, and they go and they say, you know, fuck off, burn in hell. I mean, that's, that's not right, that's not a Christian thing to do, and, you know, to be honest, I am Christian, um, I was brought up in a in a private school that was also a church uh, school I guess you could say um, you know they were both on the uh, on the same campus and uh, you know I'm glad that I went there because it, it really taught me a lot about life and about you know morals and stuff and and I think it all around just made me a better person than I would be if I did not go there but um but anyways that's besides the point um, so you know I have a little bit of a religious background you know I, I I've read the whole, I've read the Bible I mean I've read all this crap and and I was basically taught all this stuff for nine years of my life so I mean I know what I'm talking about I'm not one of those guys who just babble on about you know Jesus is right Jesus is right everything in the Bible was right um because you know there are some inaccuracies in the Bible but you know that's what you get whenever you know a book is passed down um, for thousands of years and people have to interpret it different and you know rewrite it you know things are gonna be a little bit off and some things aren't gonna make sense but um you know that's just you have to know that uh, you know people think that you know, uh, the Bible was just written one time, and um, and nothing was ever changed in it. You know, that's not how it was. Um, the Bible was, you know, as I said, it was passed down from you know thousands of years, and and um, you know it was re it was rewritten because it was reinterpreted, and and people uh, you know said what it meant a little bit differently. Um, so you know, whenever the people say that you know um, the Bible is a little bit uh, hypocritical or you know, or, or Christians are hypocritical, or, and stuff in the Bible is just, you know, hypocritical and stuff, it's because a lot of the times, you know, just some of the stuff was interpreted wrong, and, um, you know, you can't, you can't do anything about that, that's just, you know, you just can't, um, so, but anyways, um, you know, people in the comments are like, um, you know, people who are the Christians and stuff, they're, they're saying, you know, fuck you, you're all gonna go to hell, you're all gonna burn in hell, and I mean, that's definitely the wrong approach to this whole thing, um, uh, one one guy said that you know well God never says that it's a sin to uh, to um, you know to cuss and to and do stuff but I mean cussing is the same thing pretty much as bringing people down usually whenever you cuss at something it's because you're angry and because you want to bring somebody down to make yourself feel better about it um, so you know that's just kind of my point on that but um yeah you know people who say that you're, you know, I mean, I cuss, I cuss all the time, you know, it's, I'm, a, I'm human, um, you know, everybody makes mistakes, nobody's perfect, and that's what I think, um, you know, people perceive Christians as, people perceive us as, you know, we think that everything that we do is perfect, and that, um, you know, we don't think, we think that we do no wrong, we think that we're better than other people, that's, um, that's a lot of what I get whenever I hear uh, and see people talk over comments, you know, they, they feel like they're, like we downgrade them and um, I think that sometimes we do um, I don't personally but I know that a lot of people who are who are Christians they look down upon people who aren't Christians and I mean um, it's not their fault that they're not you know the same beliefs as you everybody has different beliefs you know um, it's just you know it's just how the world is you know people grow up in different places people live uh, you know in different countries there's different uh, traditions and different customs and stuff and you know you got to put all that into effect that you know not everybody is gonna be Christian not everybody's gonna have the same beliefs as you so but that you know that doesn't mean to condemn them and, and you know just say that they're uh, you know a, a bad horrible person because I mean most of the time they're not you know there are some bad people in this world but um, you know there's a lot of bad people who've been Christian too I mean yeah I'm Christian but I don't think that we're perfect you know I don't think that you know um, we're some kind of uh, you know imperfect uh, religion, you know, we have, we all have problems, everybody has problems, and, and I think whenever people start to realize that we're all pretty much the same, um, you know, the world will get a little bit better, but, um, 
so you know that's just kind of how I feel about religion and I, I really just hate whenever people say that you know they live their they live their life uh, for the Bible and for God and and then they go out and they do all this crap and uh, you know you just need to stop lying to yourself you need to really uh you know if you're gonna live your life for God and and you know all that jazz you need to um you know put it into effect you know I'm not one of those people who are overly religious I know a lot of people that are overly religious but that's that's not me um, you know, I believe in God. Um, I, you know, I, I go to church. Uh, I do all that stuff. But, you know, I'm not, I'm not gonna condemn you if you don't believe in God. I'm not gonna not be your friend if you don't believe in God. Um, I think people who do that are just very, very stupid. And uh, you know, they, they really just don't get the basis of, uh, of religion, and they don't get the basis of life. Uh, to be honest with you, because not everybody is the same. And um, you know, you just gotta realize that. And you gotta realize that. Um, you know, people are different than you, and uh, just because they're different doesn't mean that uh, you can just, you know, condemn them, like I said before, um, but, you know, that's just a little bit of how I, of how I felt tonight, so just by looking at all this stuff, and, it, and, you know, I really felt like doing a commentary on this, and, and I think that my commentaries now are just gonna get a little, I'm gonna talk about some, some serious talk, you know, uh, do some stuff like that, because, um, you know, gameplay is kind of boring to talk about, and I lose track of what I'm talking about whenever I do, and I think it's way easier to just go into a commentary, you know what you're going to talk about, and uh, just kind of shake your thoughts around that, because I mean, I don't script these things, I, I just do it off the top of my head, and um, so that's pretty much it. Um, uh, there's a little bit more to the gameplay, so uh, I guess I'll start talking about this a little bit. Um, you know, A, a is a deadly spawn trap. On, on Afghan A and C, you know, it doesn't matter which one you get, you're spawn trapped either way if, if the other team has that uh, one base in B. Um, you just can't get out of it once you're inside it. But uh, a lot of the people like to flood at the cave, so you gotta watch out for that. I usually like going down here and just kind of checking from the cave, check, going inside that plane, uh, checking that way. And you know, of course, that guy has triple the health that I did, so uh, there's no way that my bullets could kill him. And that's the main problem that I'm having with Modern Warfare 2 lately. Um, I feel like I'm dying, but uh, I can't, like, it's not my fault that I died, you know. If I die and if it's my fault, I'm completely fine with it, because I know that I did something wrong. But uh, but right there, I, I give a little uh, teammate courtesy, which I don't see a lot lately. You know, if somebody's shooting some guy, don't go up there and, you know, just steal his kill. Maybe help him out, maybe stun the guy. That's, that's what I did right there, but... Um, so, you know, this game is pretty much self-explanatory of what I do, you know, just, um, I like being a little bit more of the slayer on the team, but I like, but, you know, I also really, really enjoy playing the objective. Um, I like to mix them both a little bit, so I'm kind of a middle-of-the-road player. I, I, you know, I play the objective, and I, and I kind of be the team slayer as well, um, at least in random games, and, and, uh, you know, games that I'm with, you know, on my, uh, with my, I don't really want to call it a clan, but, you know, all the people who I play with, um, you know, I usually play the Slayer role, I guess you could say, um, but, yeah, but, you know, uh, sometimes you got to step up and, and play the objective more, so, whenever you're alone, because people on, people who are on your team and, and who are not, you know, who you don't trust are not gonna, you know, play the objective, because, you know, why would they? They, don't, they really don't want to. If you're not gonna help them, why help them? Uh, that's kind of the mentality that they have, but anyways, um, that's the beginning, that, pff, beginning, that's the end of the game, uh, we pretty much just dominated them the whole game, uh, final score is 36 and 5, if you guys want to see more serious talk, uh, just tell me and I will do so, thanks guys, peace.